Hi there, this is Pavan. Welcome to Technophiles Up. Today we are going to talk about chatbots. I think probably you might have come across a chatbot on some website, probably um, your hosting account provider or Amazon, some other site. So today we are going to see how they can be built. Of course, there are multiple ways to build and uh, the technique that we are going to use right now is using NLP. So to talk about it, I have already deployed um, uh, a chatbot using socket.io uh, on github uh, probably you might want to clone that you can go to the code to understand it uh, basically it's a simple script that calls uh, google's dialog flow for those who don't know what dialog flow is then a dialog flow is uh, google's product uh, it's basically used for NLP so basically if you're saying something it can understand what you're trying to say and what your intent is so what you feed in here are the details about um, if a user says certain thing and uh, for example I'm showing an intent okay if user is trying to say that my email ID is so and so I'm from India or my location is India you're you're trying to grab that to a section where it belongs to user details so the intent that it belongs to is user details if user is trying to say this so based on the conversation you will be able to understand what user is trying to say so from this conversation i am trying to pick uh, the email id and the country so you can build such uh, stuff using nlp so dialogue flow is one of them and uh, uh, there are several other uh, mm, uh, companies that offer the same functionality or similar functionality for example you have IBM Watson conversation and you have uh, um, Lewis from Microsoft so and Amazon has its own service I mean basically different companies offer uh, the same service uh, basically it's trying to understand or the thing is that we are trying to understand what user is trying to say and categorize them into an intent so intents entities attributes there are different stuff that belong to uh, the uh, NLP part of AI um, but here what I'm trying to do is that I I'm assuming that you have already built a dialog flow service and uh, all I'm going to do is consume it in a chatbot so let's see how we can do this the, the software that I'm going to use is node in this scenario so as I said, uh, you can find the project on GitHub. All I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this. Okay. So CD chat. Okay. So if you look at the files, it has index.js. That is a main uh, uh, file. That is a main uh, node file. I'm open. I'll open it. So there are a bunch of things that are happening here. Okay, I'm using .env to load the environment variables and Express Server and a random token generator um, and then calling the dialog flow services. It is uh, previously dialog flow is called api.ai they renamed it to dialog flow but they did not change the um, node uh, module so it is still called as api ai so basically i'm uh, what i'm doing here is that uh, creating an endpoint um, to call um, the node server uh, node server receives the text from user and uh, responds the text to user after getting the response from ai so uh what it does okay let me show you it in action so basically all it needs is a single token file of your uh, uh, dialog flow basically it has to identify a certain um project that you have developed in dialog flow so the project that i developed is some it support agent i'm quickly going to copy the access key here and put it in the env file so let me quickly copy the env file and i'm going to paste it here 
okay so once this is done all I need to do is okay I have to install the dependencies so first let me install the dependencies of this um, there are a bunch of dependencies as I, as you can see we need UUID we need uh, API AI we need uh, Express server so all these are dependencies that we need to install so I just ran uh, npm install uh, then now I'm going to run the index okay so it started listening on uh, port 3000 so all I need to do is open localhost 3000 so this is the interface that I have developed I mean forget about um, the bugs it is not so great but it, it serves the purpose so the help desk is asking hi how can I help you today um, so let me say hi hello May I please know your email and country to start with? So it's asking me to provide my email and the country. So basically I'll say that uh, I'm from India. May I know your email ID please? So since I did not provide the email ID, it knows that um, I'm asking for... Uh, so it knows that I did not provide the email ID and it is again asking for the email ID. So let's say that my email is abc at the rate of abc.com thank you for providing the details how can i help you today so once i provided the details it is asking that uh, how can i help you today so let me ask the gibberish now how is weather there sorry can you say that again it did not understand the context basically i am trying to get the problem here but uh, the user is trying to speak gibberish because of which it is not able to understand the context so all NLPs are rule based so based on your rules the flow will happen and if you change the rule uh, the flow will not be proper so that is there but at the same time um, Google uh, dialog flow also has an option of small talk once you enable that um, you can go and have small conversations with AI that I'll show you okay so this is um, what it is responding basically the purpose is for uh, help desk and if I change uh, this to a private agent hope I enabled the small talk here yeah I enabled the small talk all I need to do is I just need to copy the access token and go to the chat bot and replace okay sorry anyway if this works though. okay I just change the token so all I need to do is I just need to restart the server and let me re reload the page so this particular page uh, has a default uh, message how hi how can i help you today don't mind the interface but if i start saying hey there hello so it state it says hi okay or hello um how are you today wonderful thanks for asking so it starts responding how thanks for asking who is your owner my developer has authority over my actions uh it starts talking you see that um uh, basically now the small talk since the small talk is enabled it can talk to you uh, to the normal conversations okay um, who the hell is your developer i didn't get that can you say it again so again it missed the context so it cannot recognize um, the chat that i'm saying who is your developer let's ask that my developer has authority over my actions so it has predefined text and predefined output okay forget about it how is the weather wonderful thanks for asking so it recognizes that is um, you know basically the rules that are being defined in the back end are recognizing that um, it's asking about um, well-being or it's the greeting kind of uh, intent so it has a defined set of responses for that greeting so this is how the uh, rule based chat bots work and uh, if you have proper rules that are defined in your dialog flow uh, then uh, you can build a proper chatbot uh, that is functional 
so that's all guys that's what i want to talk to you about today uh thanks for watching have a nice day